Welcome back guys to another Android tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to hide the system bars that includes the status bar and the navigation bar. And by that create a full screen experience which is more immersive, especially when you want to display images or video for instance. As you can see, if we'll swipe from one of the edges, from the bottom or from the top, both the status bar and navigation bar will appear a bit dimmer and after a couple of seconds will disappear again. So let's get started. Now the first thing we'll do is create a reference to the decor view. Now the decor view is a top level window which contains the client's content. So let's create it as a global variable. It's a view and let's call it decor view. Now we'll initialize it in the onCreate method by simply using the getWindow method, get the curve view. Now that we have a reference to it, we can influence and change the behavior of the system bars. Now I've seen a lot of tutorials about how to change the status bar and navigation bar, and they always do it in the onResume method or either in the onCreate method. Now that's a bad idea because that's actually against what Android documentation says. If you go to the Android documentation and check where you're supposed to change the behavior of the system bars, it actually in a method on window focus changed. Now this method gets called whenever the window focus is changed. Simple as that. And the boolean that passed here is whether the window gained focus or lost focus. For instance, let's just say we are launching the main activity. This method will get called with a true parameter. The as focus will be true. Now, if for instance, we open a dialog fragment, this method will get called with the has boolean as false. So what we want to check, whether is the as boolean is true. And if it is, what we want to do is using the decor view instance that we created, we want to set the system UI visibility. Now this integer is basically going to be just a bunch of flags that are going to indicate to the system what kind of visibility behavior we want to implement. So because it's going to be a bunch of integers and it only accepts one integer, what we're going to do is use bitwise. So the first flag is going to be view system UI flag layout stable system UI flag immersive sticky the next one view system UI flag layout full screen then another one view system UI flag layout hide navigation then view system UI flag full screen and the last one is going to be view system UI flag hide hide navigation that's it. Now the next thing we're going to do is actually go back to the onCreate method and set the listener to the decor view set on system UI visibility change listener. And as the name indicate, this listener, this method is going to get called whenever the system detected a UI visibility change with the integer that represents the current detected visibility. So what we want to do in our use case is check whether the visibility is equal to zero. And if it is, we want to do actually the same thing we did in the on window focus change method. Now because we are going to use the same flags, what we're going to do is actually extract it to a method that's going to return an integer and let's just call it hide system bars let's just copy it
and paste it here. That's it. Now we're going to go back to our on system UI visibility change method and give it the height system bars. Let's launch our app and see what happens. So our main activity got launched and as you can see the system bars, the status bar and the navigation bar are hidden. If we'll try to swipe from one of the edges, we can see that both of them reappear again a bit dimmer and after a couple of seconds they disappear again if we'll try to close our application but only from this button and then we'll open our application again you can see how smoothly the system bars are hidden again so that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you like the video i'll see you next time